Thank you for taking the time to visit Rochester Heating and Air here on YouTube. The purpose of Rochester Heating and Air videos are intended for licensed HVAC professionals. The content of these videos could be hazardous to the untrained person. For the homeowners taking the time to view these videos, they are intended to educate the homeowner only. They are only to demonstrate to the homeowner what to look for in proper service procedure and proper installation practices. Please do not attempt any of these HVAC procedures conducted on these videos at home. Failure to comply with this disclaimer puts the homeowner and their family at risk of serious injury or worse. Call a licensed HVAC professional. We are very happy that you took the time to visit us here on YouTube. We would be proud to help you with all of your HVAC needs, whether it be a service call to get your equipment up and running again or an installation of new equipment we are here to serve you. If you are in Louisville, Kentucky or the surrounding areas, please give Rochester Heating and Air a call at 502-643-0220 or email us at www.rochesterheatingandair.com. Please stay tuned for the upcoming video. Good afternoon, y'all. It's uh, August 29th, uh, Wednesday, Fern Creek, Kentucky. And we've been shooting a little bit of uh, video series on uh, condenser fan motors from uh, all them out and testing them to actually uh, pulling the fl uh, fan blades with them. Uh, actually, Lori did a fantastic demonstration with the puller and she actually uh, taught us about rotation of the fans too. But uh, actually we've had a bunch of uh, friends and subscribers ask me to uh, maybe if I could do a video on a multiple speed uh, furnace floor motor. So what we've got here is we've got a, uh, we've got a Wagner motor and uh, this just so happens to be a half horsepower, 115 volt, 10.2 amp, 60 hertz single phase motor, 1075 RPM, uh, clockwise, counterclockwise. You want to make daggone sure about your uh, your RPM here. It could be uh, 825. So just put back in whatever you take out. Uh, this is actually the capacitor is calling for is a five microfarad uh, 370 run cap. So uh, that's what needs to go in here to make it run. Okay, guys. Uh, let me get everything situated here, and uh, we'll uh, we'll do a little uh, almond, and we'll uh, actually uh, do a little Megan with the with uh, with the Subco uh, M500 here. All right, guys. Let me. Uh, okay, ready. guys. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I still got you right here on this name tag. There's actually an exploded view on the side of this particular uh, 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 furnace blower motor. Um, I'm sure it's probably on quite a few of them. But uh, anyway, this represents the blower motor itself. This is the white wire, and this is saying line common, okay? Remember that now, line common is what that re represents. The red represents the low speed, blue represents medium speed, black represents high speed. The brown with the white stripe, and the brown is where the, uh, the capacitor, the, the uh, run capacitor joins in. And right here is our yellow green ground. This is a multi-directional motor. So right there on your module, uh, it could uh, go two different ways. That's the only two ways it'll go. So to have it going clockwise is orange to purple, yellow to brown, and counterclockwise would be orange to brown, purple to yellow. So there's not, like I said, there's only two ways you can screw it in. So if it's going in the wrong direction, you just pop that module loose and you turn it, you, you, you plug it in the, the different way. But uh, anyway, I just figured I'd shoot that and share it with you real quick. Um, we're going to go ahead and ohm everything out and measure everything out, but we're going to get started like this. We're going we're gonna to do it just like we did uh, last time. We're going to go common to run, lowest resistance, common to start, medium resistance, add these two resistances together. They should equal the highest resistance, which we know is start to run is the highest resistance. So what we're going to do is we're going to color, color code it out. Um, this might be, this actually opened my eyes a little bit. Um, I'm sure that you know a lot of us already know about motors and everything, but this kind of opened my eyes a little bit uh, just from this drawing alone. Well, I actually talked to uh, to Wagner, and uh, I wanted to know about I wanted to know everything there was about this motor, and uh, they actually referred me to uh, uh, an engineer out of Florida, and he was a really great guy, and he actually helped me out, and he actually uh, hand drew me a, a drawing for this, so. Uh, let me uh, get everything together and we'll get okay, right back guys, we're uh, getting ready to get started here. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I've got my fill piece out. Uh, Y'all can use whatever uh, instrument, testing instrument you prefer. I prefer the fill piece myself. But uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to pull it to, uh, uh, to ohms, which is the omega sign, the horseshoe, whatever you want to call it. And we've got her set there. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to treat this, uh, this fan motor as if it were a, uh, a three-wire motor to start with. 
Um, so what we've got here is we've got uh, our speeds, the brown and white. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to test our white, black, and brown to determine uh, uh, what's what. You know, our common to run, common to start, yada, yada, yada. So uh, let's get started here. We're going to take our black first. And we're going to take our white. That's given us a resistance reading of 1.7. 1.7. So that is what? Black to white. Okay. Now we're going to take our next resistance reading. So we've already got our white. Let's go ahead and take it to brown, our solid brown. That's given us 53.5. 53.5. So that is what uh, black to brown. Here we go again. Fifty-three point five. Okay, and that leaves us with white to brown. Which is giving us what? Fifty fifty-five point one, fifty-five point two. Stabilize. All right, I'm gonna call it 55 point. I'm gonna call it 55.2 because that adds up. All right, uh, all right, we got our uh, white and our brown, white and brown. It's gonna be brown. Two. White. Equals. <laughs> Come on, 55.2. All right, we're gonna call it 55.2. Okay, let's add these puppies up. 1.7 plus 53.5 plus 50. Oops. Sorry guys. <clears throat> 1.7 plus 53.5 equals 55.2. Okay guys. Alright. Now we know what's what. Or we will know what's what. Alright. Let me uh let me get after Sorry, it. Alright guys, we had to have a brief intermission for little kids riding motorcycles up and down the street. Um okay, we know common to run is going to be our lowest resistance. So we know black to white is our lowest resistance. So we're going to say uh, black to white equals 1.7. And we know from here, look, black and black represents two of these. I'm going to have to say that's common. Common to run, common to start. So we're going to put a common here. Put a big C there. And we know that uh, your lowest resistance is run. So we're going to put that R right here. All right, now we got black to brown is what, 53.5? Okay, and look again, we got black and black. So that black is telling me common to run, common to start. There we go. We're going to put another big C right there. And the medium resistance is uh, going to be start. So we're going to put an S right here. Okay, now we know that uh, leftover is uh, brown to white equals 
55.1. Can it go 55? There we go, 55.2. All right. So we know brown from here, which is our start. So that's going to be start. And we know white is our run, start to run. Okay, guys. So what we've determined here. Oh, let me prove another point real quick. All right. Like I told you on that last video, brown to white over here is part of the run winding. So I bet money. Now white was what? 1.7. Let's do. Uh, let's do. Uh, we determine our black was our common. Let's go ahead and get our black on here again. Now let's go ahead and put our brown on. Our brown and white stripe. And we should have right around 1.7. And there we go. 1.7, 1.8. Okay, so that's that's part of that winding. So, uh, okay, so what we've done here was we proved our point again like we did with the uh, condenser fan motors. Um, we have the, uh, we've determined what our common to run is, our common to start is, and our start to run is. Okay, so if you look at that motor again like we did with our exploded view here, <clears throat> it's saying line, uh, white is line common. White is line common. Okay, well, now we're going to determine what that really means. Okay, I guess. But we, what we've done here is we figured out what's what. We figured out the motor was good. We've actually tested the motor. We know the motor's fine. Okay, it's fine electrically. Now, but uh, what we want to do is we want to do some further tests because this is a multiple, multiple speed motor and we want to determine what is what. So if you all just bear with me just for a few more minutes, uh, we'll line this out. Okay guys, okay, guys, we just conducted our test on the uh, direct drive furnace blower motor, that Wagner motor, and we determined that the black was common, the white was run, and the brown was start. And we also determined from uh, all of our calculations that everything added up so it's electrically sound. Uh, what we need to do now is test our speeds. And uh, getting back to our, uh, our blower motor here, if you noticed, it said that white is line common. Red is low speed, blue is medium speed, and black is high speed. Okay, that's what kind of threw me off a little bit. Line common, however, we determined that white is run. Okay, now what it is, is uh, I actually talked to Wagner Motors because it was kind of confusing me a little bit and I want to know everything I can know about stuff. <laughs> I know y'all do too. So what I did was uh, I actually ran that past them. I was wanting to know all about the windings and uh, they referred me and put me in contact with the fellow that actually uh, is the engineer for some of these motors here. And this fellow was kind enough to actually hand draw me out um, what goes on inside this motor. However, the motor that he drew me is a four-speed motor. We're just going to not uh, take into account the yellow here. So what we have on our motor is a black, a blue, and a red. We got three speeds. Okay. Now, what it is here. All right. Here's the common stuff. The white is the common. Okay. The white is the common run winding. The black is a common run winding. The blue is a common run winding. The red is a common run winding. On the other side of the motor windings, we have what we call an auxiliary winding. That would be where the brown with the white stripe and the brown, the solid brown comes into play and our uh, clockwise, counterclockwise module comes into play. But right now we're going to uh, get started on this. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to ohm this out. And what this is going to entitle is us taking our white wire. and our <laughs> get everything mixed up here and our black wire here where'd you go and we're going to get our resistance on it as soon as we pull it to resistance okay and let's see what we got from white to black we have 1.7 from white to black so let's write that down 1.7 ohms. All right, so what's next? Let's go from black to blue. All right, we'll leave our black hooked up and we'll hook to blue. Okay, from black to blue, we have 0.9. All right, let's write that down. 
Okay, we don't have a yellow, so we're going to go from blue to red. We do have a red. So let's keep our blue hooked up, and we're going to go to red. Okay, from blue to red, we have 0 .8, 0 .8 ohms, 0 .8 resistance. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is you notice how the resistance was dropping. Okay, so what I'm going to do now to, to prove a point is I'm going to go from red to white and see what we have. All right, we've got our red hooked up. We're going to go to our white. Red to white gives us 3.2. Red to white gives us 3.2. So let's write that down. Red to white 3.2. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to add up these resistances to see if that's what we get. We have 1.7 plus 0.9 plus 0.8 equals 3.4. Okay, we're, we're, we're right in the ballpark, guys, and that's what we want to see. Okay, let me, uh, let me uh, conduct a couple other tests that might uh, that y'all might appreciate, I hope. Okay, guys, I guess we showed here how the, uh, the white, the black, the blue... If we had a yeller and the red is tied in to the main common winding, which is run, okay? And what I wanted to show, too, is there's actually part of this motor that is the auxiliary winding and what it's tied into. And basically, on the auxiliary winding, we have the brown and the white, the solid brown with a white stripe. And on this side, also, we have the solid brown. And we also have the... Uh, clockwise counterclockwise module and I wanted to show you all how that works it's, it's actually a pretty interesting test but uh, as for right now what I want to do is show you that actually this brown and white brown with a white stripe is actually tied in to the common winding and if we look at this again we have 1.7 from our black to our white we determined our black to white black is common white is run we determine here from this drawing these are run windings all right now if that's actually true that's brown and white should equal what the white to black equals let's see if it does we're going to take our uh, instrument we're going to tie it into the common which we know is common we're going to take our brown and white brown and white with the brown and white stripe we're going to tie that in it should be close to 1.7 might be 1.8 there is a little bit of resistance but no, it is 1.7. Let's prove point. Let's grab a white wire here. We got our white. Put a white on. 1.7. All right, guys. Kind of running out of time a little bit. If y'all want to see me do uh, the auxiliary windings and show you how all this works and how you can own this out, uh, just holler at me. If not, I appreciate y'all watching my videos. You, you don't know how much I do. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. I reckon we'll holler at you soon. All right, y'all. Bye.